Hi guys, I'm gonna be showing you how to play Don't Give Up On Me by Andy Kramer. I heard the song yesterday and I just love the guitar and also the song is really nice. Especially the guitar riff is really soothing, relaxing and I'm just gonna try to break down it in the most easiest and also make it sound pretty accurate. So make sure you drop me one of these uh, so that this video can be actually promoted more to many people. That's how the YouTube algo actually works. So make sure you like, that's gonna help me a lot. Uh, for this song, we got the keyboard on fret one, as I told you, I wanna keep it beginner friendly. And I do have the tabs, which is really easy for the songs. Uh, got the tabs, you have everything right now. So let's talk about the right hand, basic thing. I'm always using my thumb to hit the root note of the chords. What are root notes? They are the notes from which the chord actually gets named, like the first note. So for the D major chord, the root note is a D string open. For the B minor chord, it's the second fret on the E string. Uh, for the A major chord, it's open on the E string. And for the G major chord, it's top E string third fret. Those are the root notes. Index for G, middle finger for the B, ring finger for the high E string. Make sure you just follow this a lot. This is gonna be helping you a lot even when you just play any other song. When you're going for finger picking, make sure you just do this. So let me just show you the chord super fast. D major, mute, mute, open, second, third, second. A major, mute, open, second, 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 open. B minor, mute, two, four, four, three, two. G major, three, two, open, 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 three. We're gonna be doing some small, small changes in the chord trees while we're playing the riff. So let's have a look at the tab. The key is on fret one. I do this. So have a look at the first bar, the first five lines which I got. If you see, there's five lines, but you're just gonna be repeating that four times. So every five lines, you're gonna be repeating that four times. So five and four, five and four, five and four, five and four. So D major chord, hold the D major chord and simply plug the D string and the high E string together. Open second. Then you play the D string, then the B string, then the D string, then the E string. Talking about the high E, so we got. See that? And you're gonna be repeating that four times, so we got. Three, four. How much time? Make sure you practice this a lot because this is going to be very useful for the other chord shapes as well. So make sure you master the D major chord and then you move on to the A major chord. But what we're doing is we're now just having middle finger on second fret of the high E string and index on the B string second fret. And I repeat the same pattern, but this time I plug the open E string and the high E string second fret together. Then I play open A, then B2, then open A, and then the E string will be open, the high E. So we got see that so just follow the tab everything's out there again repeat that four times so we got now this pattern will be repeated on the b minor chord where we got index on second fret of a your ring finger on third fret of the b and your middle finger on second fret of the high e string again your middle finger will be coming up and down to keep that open and hitting that second fret so again plug a2 e2 a2 b3 a2, then open E, so you got four times, three, four, and then you move on to the G major chord, and what we do over here, we place our middle finger on third fret of the B, I'm sorry, third fret of the E string, ring finger on third fret of the B string, and pinky on the G string, fourth fret. Now, what we gonna do? I'm playing the top E string and the high E string open all together, then I play the E string, then the G string, fourth fret, then E string, then B string, third fret. So you got to repeat that four times. So if you put that all together, it's gonna sound like this. Pause the video, have a look at the tab, take time practice, this is gonna be master. Alright, that sounds nice. Uh, what are you gonna do for the letter part song, the chorus especially? You can simply strum the chord shape with D major, then A major. 
Let it be minor, but you can keep the high E string open or you can do. And then normal G major chord, we can just uh, have three, two, open, open, third fret on the B string, open, high E string. I'm um, just making small, small changes in the chord shapes. That's what we got. That's how it sounds. So we're just gonna try to get the flavor of that finger picking here. So the strength band will be down, up, down, down, up, down. So down, up, down, repeat it four times on every chord. So we got. That's how you can just make the sounds a lot, lot, lot more better. And that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe, it's gonna help me a lot. And let me know what other songs you just want to learn. That's it. Bye.